There's no crab legs. Y'all, sometimes I so feel so blessed to be doing what I'm doing. To actually be feel like I'm not actually working, but working. I'm just so grateful. I look forward to coming in here. Mm. This is so good. I think about all the years of working and putting up with stuff and being mistreated on these people's jobs out here. Not appreciated. To now be where I'm at now, where I'm just doing my own business. It was so scary to just take the chance and just count on the business itself. Like, I was so worried about keeping a contract. I had to really. Put some real, I had to really put faith to work. Like, really trust God, right? That He will sustain me. He didn't bring me through all this just to leave me, you know? But, when you're so used to counting on what you know, counting on what you can see, what you can feel. Well, anybody that's, you know, considering and opening up your own business. Mm, y'all, this is good. I'm going to say go out, go for it. Because maybe this has been the best reward I have to date. And I never take it for granted. July will be two years, y'all. Two years. I can't believe it. And so that first couple of years was the roughest, but... To be and seeing the number two years in business. This is so good. Oh, this was, mm -hmm. I, was in, I was in that class teaching. I got a mother and a daughter here today. And then I had somebody stop by while I was in class. Interested in my medical sister, of course. Somebody, one of my past students referred her. Y'all, I tell you, word of mouth is everything. Both of them went in book. Came in, they came and met me. They wanted to meet me first. Of course, people want to know your energy and all that stuff. They stopped by here while I was in class. I stepped out for a minute and talked to them about what I do and offer and how it works and. They said, well, we, we, after we met you, we want to go book. So they literally just went and booked. So I'm so grateful. You know, I just try to give, be authentic, be myself, treat people how, it, you know. When you've been treated bad on jobs and had people talk to you crazy. And, I mean, I've literally been on jobs that I had to go to my car. i never forget I worked at Signature Healthcare. And if you guys in Gainesville know, I worked at Signature Healthcare. And there was a time I remember going to my car crying in my car because I wanted to quit that job. And I couldn't quit because of the bills. I mean, literally had to go cry. I mean, snot cry. Get it out. And go back in there and get the job done because you got bills to pay. If you've ever been treated like that, to be on this side of it now, I would never treat anybody in the way that I felt. Ever. It was definitely not a good feeling. I remember my auntie was, they had told me my auntie I didn't have long to live. I was at Signature. I was told that my dad got a call that my auntie didn't have long to live and that I had to get there if I want to see her. She was in Palaka and I was in Gainesville. And I went and told my, I was in the middle of my shift. I went and told them I needed to leave. You know what they said? Do you, know how, do you know how long it, you'll be? It wasn't a, how is she, how, what can I do to help you? How can I, what do you need from me? Mm -mm. How long do you think I'll be? That's what I was asked. Y'all, I, I, I promise you. Just to, oh, I just look back on it. 
It's just so I'm just so grateful for where I'm at now. Just the, all the things I went through and how I was talked to and treated on these jobs. And I think that's why I left jobs so often because I never stayed on jobs long. I've been in so many bad. I had some experiences, y'all. I had some bad experiences. I had a really nasty, horrible experience at Terrace Health that I worked when I worked there way back as a brand new nurse. And those who know know, but that was a horrible experience. How what happened to me at that place? I just I'm gonna talk about that one of these days. Just haven't not today. But I'm gonna talk to y'all about that because that was the worst experience I ever had in the nursing field. What happened to me there? But uh. And I didn't deserve what happened to me there. But to be back, that's why I say when people don't know your story, they can't understand your praise. Well, I'm always so grateful. People probably think I'd be faking and putting on how i be always so grateful and praying and praising and thanking God. And you have no clue. Y'all don't know. It took how long it took me to become an LPN. All I have so many things I could talk to y'all about, but it's just too much today. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But people see me now think I had it. I got it easy. I had it good. I don't have nothing I don't deserve at this point. It did not come easy. Nothing I have gotten. Have, for me have come easy. Sometimes I would be like sometimes I used to back in the day be like, Oh, they get stuff so easy. I know that it was meant for me to get it the way I got it. And each month, each day, each second I still I could lose into everything today. I could lose it tomorrow. That's why I'm so grateful because I don't ever want to forget. But uh you know, I just tell y'all that. That's one reason why Love Reigns came from. The, I, the name Love Reigns came from my love of taking care of people. Hopefully it will rain down to the students and hopefully it will rain down to the patients. And that's rain is such a strong way, way of affection. It means like a strength. Like love is so strong. Because we got to take care of these people. We got to care about the people that we care that we take care of. I remember working with a nurse one time, and she was mean to these patients. She was mean to them. And, you know, it's, it's bad. You look back on it, how you allow people. You've seen stuff that you know you shouldn't have seen, and you probably should have did something about. And you kind of turned the cheek, which was bad, being young and so naive back in the day. So, But how about that nurse ended up having a medical condition that caused her to end up being a patient in the same nursing home that she was treating people bad at? Mm-hmm. Karma. Karma. It'll come back for you. you. Can't treat people bad. If you ain't in this dick care, people, you are definitely not in them. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Some people take money over everything, but mm -mm. you gotta care about these people. But anyway, I'm not. I'm not trying to get too deep, but I'm just reflecting back on some things that I experienced that. You know, I just, it's all part of my story. Like, I don't regret none of it. Because all of those things helped me to be who I am today. So, y'all. Anyway, it's about time to get ready to head back in here. Get ready for round two, part, second half of my day. I'm going to get ready to go do the written part of the pile of PowerPoint that I'm going to show and then we're going to do a practice test. So I do a practice test with them from Prometrium. And explain. And then we talk about how, what, why the answer is the answer. The rationale. So that way, that helps them to remember for their written test. So. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank y'all for eating lunch with me.